Welcome to another Tech Help Quick Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Once a week, I'm going to be presenting a new keyboard shortcut tip. Don't try to learn them all at once. There are tons of them and it can get overwhelming. Just learn each week's new shortcut and you'll gradually increase your skill set and your productivity. Today we're going to talk about moving and resizing controls using the arrow keys with control and shift. Okay, so here I am in design view of a form. Now, I know if you're like me, sometimes it's hard to get that control exactly where you want it. It's sometimes tough. Set your grid up especially the way you want it, but sometimes it's easier to use the keyboard. All right, so instead of clicking and dragging. So with the arrow keys, just move the arrow keys left, right. Notice it moves the control, the text box, and its associated label if one's associated with it. All right, same thing with a checkbox. Click on it, right? And you can move that around with the arrow keys, okay? Now, if you want to move in very tiny increments called twips, all right, 20th inch pixels, just hold the control key down and notice how it's moving very tiny, less than a grid amount. See that? Very, very tiny. Let me zoom in so you can see that better. All right, the arrow keys move us a full grid point like that. Hold down the control key to move just a tiny bit. See that? All right. Now the shift key is for resizing the control. So hold the shift key down with the arrow keys and you can make that control wider. This only applies to the text box or in more narrow like that or taller and shorter. Okay, so sometimes that's easier than using the mouse. Now the control with the shift key resizes it in twips, little teeny tiny amounts. See that? I'm holding down the shift and the control key. All right. And if you mess it up and want to go back to where it was, just use the shift key by itself and that'll put it back on the grid dots like that. See? Okay, so that's moving and resizing your controls using the keyboard. The arrows by themselves just move the control using whole grid amounts. The control key is for twips and the shift key is for resizing. Right? So arrows by themselves move one grid unit Control key with the arrows, nudge, one twip, that's called a nudge, right? A little tiny, teeny movement. Shift is to resize, and then control shift is to nudge resize. Got it? All right, there's this week's shortcut keys quick tip. I hope you've been using last week's tip, which was that control comma and control period to flip between design view and form view. All right, again, only try to add one of these a week. So don't go and watch them all. It's kind of like when you see that big sheet that you could find in the store that's got all the hundreds of different keyboard shortcuts. Those are useless, okay, unless you know them all already and you're just trying to remember what, what one was. Just try to add one each week to your skill set, and you'll do a whole lot better, and you'll remember them better that way. I'll put a link to last week's shortcut keys in the description down below. And, of course, for lots more tips like this, including my full tech help Q&A and my full access beginner class, I'll put links down below as well. Thanks for watching.